playing games, no, no. What's my name? What? Say, what's my name? Shaka Shine. Okay, okay, okay. Shaka Shine. What's goody, fam? You already know who it is. It's Shaka Shine, and I'm coming back at it with another reaction on Shaka Shine Reacts. Today, I gotta give a big O shout out. When I say big O, I mean big O shout out to Travis. And their request was Larry Bird versus LeBron James. So, you know, this should be pretty one-sided. Anyways, for the people that have been hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, hitting that comment button, you know me, this is a channel of giving credit when credit's due and y'all deserve all the credit. So I gotta say thank you. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all. With that being said, for the people that are waiting on their requests, as you can see, we're getting to every single one of y'all. If I set up it on the list, it's on the list and it's coming up. But you can always skip the line by hitting me with the donation. Links right underneath the like button. And I'll make sure I get your reaction out within 72 hours. Now, as far as um, LeBron James goes, we've done a couple of videos with LeBron James. But we've done a ton of Larry Bird videos. So if this is your first time watching one of my Larry Bird reactions, make sure you check out the sports reactions. We have a ton of Larry Bird. We have some Michael Jordan as well. So check it out. The playlist, sports. Anyways, um, yeah. And if you're coming back for another sports reaction, then let's get straight to it. Best three players of all time, Michael Jordan, Dr. J, and Larry Bird. Quote by LeBron James. Okay. Larry Bird at his best. LeBron James at his best. Oh, my God. And do we have to put the teams, too? Or just individual players? If they That actually is a good... Make sure we get the full context. You know what I'm saying? It's a draft. Oh, my God. And you can take Bird or... Or LeBron. Oh. So let, let's say I take Larry at this age when I think he averaged 30, 10, and 7, something like that, and LeBron right now. So you got Larry Legend okay, or LeBron. Okay, now what rules, One, are we, what rules are we playing? Uh, sorry for the audio skips. Let's see if we can make sure that this stops. Boom. All right. We're playing today's rules. <laughs> Oh, I gotta go with Larry Joe. I gotta go with Larry Joe. In today's rules, you can't yeah. touch him. Yeah. And Larry, so this is 27, 28 year old Larry and 27, 28 year old LeBron, yeah. right? Or is he 30 now, right? 30. Yeah. So 30 year old Larry, 30 year old LeBron. Okay, give me give me Bird's stats at 30. Paul. At 30. Because that, that, that was an MVP season, I think. Yeah. I've never actually watched the Dan Patrick show, but I have tons of homies that do. Let me know what y'all think about it. Put it in the comments. I've heard it's really good. Um, I just haven't watched it. So let me know. Put it in the comments, and uh, I'm going to keep it pushing. Yeah. Wow. Uh, 30 points a game, nine rebounds, six assists, two steals, and a block. Uh, hey, can I answer that question now? Larry Joe. Yeah. <laughs> so Larry he averaged Joe. 30 back then. You take Larry Joe. Larry Joe uh, <laughs> for the win. I know where we're going with this. I, Is he in your top ten? Yeah, he's in my top. Is he ahead of Larry? You got a strange top two. Hold on, is he ahead of Larry Bird? No. Skip Reggie would take. He that dude said it flat out. No. <laughs> Bird over LeBron. Do you concur, my friend? Stephen A. Smith, I do concur. I do agree. Hold on, what do you say? I, I might, I might have missed that. I need to go back a little bit. She would take Bird over LeBron. Do you concur? Yes. My friend? Stephen A. Smith. I do concur. I do agree. I can understand how some people, Larry Bird was better than most people think. Yeah. And so make your argument for Bird. In a hypothetical draft, that's what they started off with. I, I'll take it at any age. You, you can do it at 18 or 22 <laughs> or 26. <laughs> he said, I don't care. Or as they finally concluded at age 30, I'm going to take Larry Bird just a little bit over LeBron James. Now, you can argue, oh, LeBron is such a superior athlete, and I will not argue back. But as an all-around basketball player... Exactly. A exactly. That's the all-around. See, a lot of days, people, a lot of times these days, people are really good at this point or this point, or maybe even a couple of points. But Larry Bird just had the full package. You know what I'm saying? He, he knew the full game. And that's what I think made him so good.
leader, and especially as a clutch shooting difference maker, I'm all about Larry Bird. He was a bad boy. For those, of us, <laughs> those in the, the audience who are just too young to know, bad boy. Bird's a better shooter. It's not close. Uh, I think Bird is as, okay, as we, good we, or we, better as a passer. We do Bird's know a better rebounder. Better shooter from LeBron at any distance. <laughs> as for the outside shooting, this isn't really close. And the only reason his three-point numbers aren't gaudier is the simple fact that hardly any threes were taken back then, mm -hmm. much less practiced. And yet Bird still shot over 40% five times including two 50 40 90 seasons let's go not just a superior shooter from anywhere on the court just like you highlighted not only was he a near 90 percent shooter from the free throw line let's which go. lebron can never brag about why but also larry bird was mr clutch when the ball when the game was on the line he made you knew that the ball was going in larry bird's hands and there was little to nothing that you could do to stop him because exactly exactly See, when that pressure was put on him, I'll say at least nine times out of ten, maybe eight times out of ten, Larry Bird made sure that he clutched it. Period. That's period point blank. Was that much of a marksman, a marksman of the highest order, one of the most lethal marksmen we've ever seen in the game's history. Three-point shooting, percentage, whatever you want to do, and especially from the free throw line where he often led the league in free yeah. throw percentage did Larry Bird. Bird was consistently among the best free throw shooters each season, while LeBron's best year... You see. Oh, wow. He's not beating... He's not beating Bird's worst year. LeBron's best year... Oh, my gosh. The line was still six points lower than Bird's worst year. Come on. That's... Whatever this is from, please let me know. Put it in the comments. I need to check this out. <laughs> Obviously, it's com on Comedy Central, but I really would like to know what this is. Like, what show or whatever this is. Overall field goal percentages are remarkably similar. Okay. And as we showed earlier, LeBron does the vast majority of his damage near the rim, mm -hmm. where Larry was able to match the field goal percentage by taking many more shots from outside. You know, LeBron's uh, physical, if not athletic ability, is a gift. Larry's IQ in basketball uh, competitiveness is... Yeah. You know, un un uncanny, like it really Larry's is. ability to make tough shots. Better rebounder, clearly just a little bigger, uh, had a little more better knack under the basket for acquiring rebounds, a la Dennis Rodman as a below the rim, six foot nine inch rebounder. He's not in Bird's League when it comes to passing. And that's kind of how I felt too. Uh, straight up passing. I don't know. This very, this couple people. I think there's two players that could even be comparable for passing, but I don't think that's LeBron James at all. <laughs> Larry Bird was a better passer, in my in my mind, yes. a much more fluid, much more uh, natural passer than yeah. LeBron James, a creative passer. Because Larry Bird had the passing gift. And then we come to defense. If you look at defensive win shares, Larry Bird actually ranks ahead of LeBron James by one spot. And that's because all of his basketball genius we saw on the offensive end translated to the defensive side of the ball as well. Exactly. When he was young and healthy, he made some plays that might, just might, remind you of some of the things we saw LeBron do. His quick hands allowed him to strip the ball, and in fact, he averaged the same amount of steals per game that LeBron does now. Larry yeah. Bird, as you know, Stephen A could reek. All right, hold on. Let me look at this. Minutes per game, okay. I mean, it's it's comparable, but at the same time, oh, I guess Bird was in more games too, but still. Hey, it is what it is. On defense, to the point that he often led LeBron. Especially since Bird was playing through a lot of injuries too. Crazy. In the steals category. So I'm going to give Larry a slight balancing edge there yeah. then we get to leadership 
intangibles. They spilled over from Larry Bird, as you well know, because you're old enough to have covered him, which is why Larry Bird has three rings, lost two finals, no shame there, to Magic, Kareem, Worthy, Byron Scott, mm -hmm. Michael Cooper, all the rest. Would I take him over LeBron James to start my my franchise? Yes, I would. And, and I don't think it's even close. That's, that's pretty much how I felt. That's why when this came on, I was like, oh, okay, Bird versus James. I mean, Bird, but I guess I'm going to watch it. Let's see what people have to argue. You know what I'm saying? So same thing. Let me know what y'all think. What do y'all think? Um, me personally, I came biased, okay? Like I said, y'all have turned me into some pretty big Larry Bird fans. So, I will turn me into a pretty big Larry Bird fan. So, when I saw this, I was already biased towards Larry Bird. Plus, fr from everything that I know, like, some stats are comparable, but if you actually look at the whole thing, I mean, Bird's just killing it. Especially if you actually watch them both play. Again, I'm not saying that uh, LeBron James isn't good. He's one of the best at at the time. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. One area Larry was far superior in was his use of the left hand. There were sections of the whole games where he'd only shoot with his off hand, and he had such control and touch with it, you'd never know exactly how to guard him once he got within 10 feet of the basket. <laughs> I can't think of another player who used his ability to score with his offhand as often as Bird did, and even 25 years later, these are still the most impressive of his highlights, something LeBron cannot do. Straight up. Well, let me say this. Um, I think that LeBron James is a superior athlete. I think for the first 45 to 46 minutes of a game, I don't know if there's anybody in the world that you can pick over LeBron James because he's a freak of nature, a physical freak of nature being the fact that he's 6'8", 250 pounds, locomotive coming at you. Larry definitely had more skill, while LeBron brought more physical gift. Exactly, more force into it. He's just a bigger dude. And I know that he's, uh, from what I understand, he's quicker than uh, Larry Bird. But, but that's pretty much all I know that could even be comparable when you talk to, about these two. But there's no way on earth that I'd pick him over Larry Bird in the clutch. I can tell you that much. And that brings us to clutch performance. Exactly. Those moments when everyone in the building knows who's getting the ball, and as that clock winds down, do you have the clutch gene to nail the shot? When it comes down to the end of a game in a championship series, mm -hmm. I would rather have Larry Bird have the basketball. Yeah. While we don't have the advanced stats from Bird's era, we're going to have to use anecdotal evidence to show that time and again, the Celtics went to him in the waning seconds of the game and it was a rare occasion when he didn't come through for them. That's facts. At the very least, there was never ever a time when Bird was afraid to shoot the ball in those pressure situations. He would inevitably just come on just... find some way to get open. Remember, they would hardly ever run a straight isolation out top and have him create off the dribble. Bird would flash open, find some sort of sliver of daylight, and get the jumper off. Again, these were moments when going to the basket wasn't uh. preferable because the referees would definitely let the players decide these games. Foul calls were hard to come by. Mm -hmm. So it made more sense to do your best to get off a clean look from the outside. And Larry Bird was as good as anyone in this era with his knack for being in the right place at the right time, dropping in shots from all angles doesn't matter if you double team him. Like, come on. And degree of difficulty. LeBron's clutchiness is a bit more complicated. There have been a few times where he hasn't been the man down the stretch, and it has opened him up to quite a bit of criticism for not being that clutch player. That's facts. Mark Stein wrote an article on ESPN.com about this, and with the help of advanced analytics and play-by-play -play data, we can quantify how LeBron has shot when attempting a tying or go-ahead shot in the final five seconds of the fourth quarter or overtime. Okay. As of March 1st of this year, he was a very mortal 5 for 47, or 10.6% over the past 10 seasons, Dang. whereas the league average on these shots is 22.7%. Exactly. Intangible about winning. It is something that LeBron James took years to learn. 
even though he deserves to be respected, and that should not be held against him. Yeah, What's undeniable, that. Skip, is that Larry Bird, whatever intangibles LeBron James strived to develop and ultimately did to some degree but is still working on in terms of its completion, Larry Bird walked into the NBA with that attitude. Facts. He walked into the NBA with that gift. And there was an accountability factor that came with being on the floor with Larry Bird because there was a certain level of excellence that was expected From and everyone. there was a certain you know level of dereliction of duty that would not be tolerated. We've seen LeBron James tolerate a lot of things throughout the years, trying to fit in, trying to get along, trying to be that, you know, what he thought a leader was supposed to be. Larry Bird didn't try any of that. But paid any attention to any of that. Yeah. He was Larry Bird. Exactly. And he came in there with a level of greatness coming from Indiana State. And he put the basketball world on notice that he was going to be a legend and he was going to be a winner. Mm -hmm. And anybody that played with him had damn well better adopt that attitude or they were not going to be wearing the same uniform as him. That was Larry Bird. And, and, and we haven't seen that really from LeBron James, to be quite honest with you. So, And if you guys think that that's wrong, put it in the comments. Tell me your side of that. I, again, the only thing I don't like about these is the fact that it seems like we're just down in LeBron James. And he does deserve his credit. Like I said, this is a channel of giving credit where credit is due. Is LeBron James a good basketball player? No, he's a great one. You know what I'm saying? So... It just happens that Larry Bird just happens to be that much better, you know? So, still, LeBron fans, which, again, I'm a LeBron fan, too. I'm just more of a Larry Bird fan. Either way, tell me your side, put it in the comments, and uh, let's keep it pushing. You know, in terms of leadership, in terms of clutch, in terms of shooting ability, and overall championship credentials, not just trophies, but a mentality, exactly. Larry Bird gets the nod over LeBron James but you still can't dismiss the greatness of LeBron James. Boom. LeBron can be great, but he needs he needs that other guy to sometime to carry him. He needs the Kyrie Irving to make the shots down the stretch. Okay? He's incredible in a Magic Johnson sort of way in that he makes uh, generally makes others better. Let's all just agree the Bird's better. Bird's no. better because it annoys LeBron fans. <laughs> I must admit... It I does. am shocked that you're not defending LeBron a little harder because I anticipated I you would. I can't. No? money time, whether it's a particular juncture in the season where you're trying to position yourself for the playoffs, or you're talking about the last minutes of a game, or you're talking about the last shot in a game, or you're talking about a game seven, or you're talking about any... Come on, he keeps saying or, 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 like, that just tells you right now how, how far that gap really is, you know what I'm saying? Again, it might just be because of different times, different play styles, but overall, man... Larry Bird's out here and has been out here, so, like, I don't know what to do. All I can say is, uh, LeBron, just all your all the stuff that you are the best at, man, you got to work a little bit harder at. At the same time, don't get me wrong, you would whoop. Me, me playing LeBron James, you win it. <laughs> like, it's not even, you know, it's not even a thing. But I know that, or I feel like, these kind of talks get to LeBron sometimes. And if that's the case, then the best thing I can say is just work on the stuff that pretty much people are talking about until they can't have until they don't have anything to say. Or they can't have anything to say. But anyways, let's keep it pushing. Thing that that indicates clutch. You simply can't pick LeBron over Larry Bird because you can pick almost no one in NBA history over Larry Bird because exactly. he was a marksman of the highest order. When it was money time, you knew where the ball was going, and you also knew there was little to nothing that you could do about it. It was just a matter of whether or not Larry Bird would make it or miss it. <laughs> it was not a matter of what he was going to put himself in position to do or what yeah. he was going to be capable of doing because he was that big time. He was Larry Bird. I have to, I can't deny that. Can we take a quick look at those stats, the age 30 stats between Larry Bird, LeBron James. Larry Bird has got him by three points in, in overall average scoring, th three rebounds a game he's got him by, which is pretty significant. Got him slightly in assists, which surprised me. Field goal percentage is okay. substantial, 52.3 yeah. to 48.8. And then finally, that was another year. Larry Bird at 91% led the league in free throw 
percentage. Mm. About more possessions, more three-point shots, more points, sure. and you're going to have greater stats. So it stats a little bit on steroids. Mm. We even make a fair comparison of two players from completely different eras. While Bird was doing the mullet, LeBron was doing the headband. And he loads up the stat sheet like we've never seen before. And part of the loading up the stat sheet is basketball's played differently than yeah. it's ever been played before. That's what true. you also have to consider, Skip, is that Larry Bird deserves even more credit when you look at those numbers because the game was played considerably tougher then. It was more physical. It you was. could get up in people. You know, you had the bad boys and everybody else still in the game and being very, very relevant. We all know the, bait, the game of professional basketball in the NBA is called soft as putty right now. You pass gas, you'll get called for. <laughs> you'll get called for a foul. I'm going to take that back just so we can hear that in full. And it's in territory. Oh, my God. That was so funny. Oh. Basketball in the NBA is called soft as putty right now. You pass gas, you'll get called for a foul. Yeah. You touch somebody's fingernails, you might get ejected. I agree. I mean, this this is this unbelievable. So the fact that back then it being so tougher and Larry Bird having the quality of teammates that he had, and McHale and Dennis Johnson and others to sit there and put up those kind of numbers is a is another testament to his greatness because he was playing in a time where they did not mind sharing the wealth. We yeah. know how unselfish he was about sharing the wealth. Flick it or tap it or bounce it to a teammate without even catching it. Bounce Bird. Nice tip to McHale. Pretty as you live. Let's go. To see. Pass to Bird. 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 To Perry. Let's go. And yet he was still able to register those kind of numbers. All so day. Larry Bird deserves a whole lot of credit for that. He does. I agree with you. And again, this is a channel of giving credit when credit's due, baby. So, you know. Again, LeBron James deserves his credit too, so don't get me wrong. I'm guessing that right now about 80% of our viewing audience does not agree with either one of us. <laughs> well, that, that, all that means is that they don't know anybody. They don't know. Because we, we, we're you. giving them facts. I would love to pick LeBron uh, if, if he deserved it, but I don't think he deserves it over Bird, no. over Larry Legend that we watched in terms of what I told you, those exactly. 45 minutes. You know what, 82 game schedule. Those say, he deserves it in that level, but in terms of clutch, money time, there's no, there's no contest. Let's He's go. not even in Larry Bird's class. Boom. Okay. <sighs> Larry was a debate, and he still is. People ask me all the time who my top five players are. When I started saying uh, Larry, they interrupt me and they say, "You've got to be kidding me. He can't play with LeBron James." I tell them, you guys don't get it. Larry is far better than any small forward who played the game by Michael Jordan. Let's go. G. Miller, was Reggie. push off on Michael Jordan, going over the left shoulder for three. It's the Pacers hit the shot, and Bird just sat there and did not move. The whole world is going crazy. They pan the camera to Larry Bird. He didn't even move. Standing there like he has ice water in his veins. <laughs> I see what I'm talking about. I'm, I, I, what, what is that? It's, he's not even human. I, I, I've never seen anything like that in my life. He didn't even blink. No. Talk about calm under pressure, right? And that's the way he was as a player. He and, doesn't even blink. I mean, did he, did he ever get excited? Did you ever hear him yell? Yes, he got excited. Absolutely. But we... We, we treated Larry Bird like E.F. Hutton. When he talked, people listened. Nah. He didn't say too much, but when he did, he had our attention. Uh-huh. Exactly. Larry Joe Bird beat every single last real nigga in his era. Everybody. Everybody. Nobody else can say it. Not Magic, not Kareem, not MJ. Nobody can say <laughs> that they beat every single last real nigga in their era. Every single one. Bird did that. He Facts. beat everybody in the 80s, nigga. Can't nobody say that. He beat Dr. J. He beat Moses. He beat Magic, Kareem, Worthy. He beat Isaiah Thomas, Dumars, uh, Rodman. He beat Adrian Deadly. Larry Bird cooked this nigga Rodman so bad. He cooked the nigga so bad. The nigga Rodman said... Only reason Bird get that much hype is because he white. <laughs> you know what that sound like to me? That sound like someone that is salty. That nigga Ramen was so salty, he got cooked by Bird that he was like, hey man, only reason y'all boosting him is because he white. He beat how many, bro? You know how many niggas Bird beat, bro? <laughs> Can't nobody say that. MJ didn't Facts. beat. Facts. Um, 
Bird. MJ didn't even get a game. Not one, bro. Not one. Not one. Not one. God in tennis shoes. The GOAT. Let's That's my go. man. But he swept him. And you know what sweep means? That means I think he beat him in Boston. And then he went to Chicago. See, my thing with him beating Jordan is, damn, Jordan, you couldn't get one? Not one? You feel me? <laughs> Jordan couldn't even get one. Magic never beat uh, Jordan. You feel me? You, when you really, like, line it up, like, Kareem never beat Michael. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody can say that they beat everybody. And Except Bird is the me. nigga to actually walk in the room and say, say, bro, look out. I beat you. I beat you. I, I beat, beat you. <laughs> you, you, you. I swept you. You supposed to be the GOAT, bro. I swept you twice. Oh, I forgot to tell you. He swept him again in 87. 87. Y'all, yeah. Look out, y'all. In 87, he swept him. Facts. The Bronx fans, y'all gonna hate me. <laughs> okay. Face PC Gaming, you gotta make sure that you go and show him some love. He's the one that made this video. And um, I'm me I've been messing with these. So is Chad. So, again, the original video is in the description. You all know, make sure that you go, if you're messing with Larry Bird or any of these sports reactions, make sure you go and show him some love. All right, go hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that comment button. And when you do that over there, make sure that you let him know who sent you. Give credit when credit's due. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, yeah, I've been messing with these. Period, point blank, I'll be messing with these. Um, I think that Larry Bird is it's just it's undeniable. Okay, um, it's kind of hard to say that Larry Bird isn't just the hardest dude out here, <laughs> period, point blank. So I'm messing with this. Let me know what y'all think. If y'all think that this was a fair comparison, if you don't think it was a fair comparison, put it in the comments. Let me know why. And if you're making it this far, you might as well hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that comment button. Let me know your favorite basketball player and what else you want to see me react to. You're already doing that and making it this far. That I got to say thank you. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all. With that being said, I also got to say thank you to the people that went over to my music last year. I make music and I put out a song every single Friday of, 21, of 2021, um, equaling up to 53 songs in one year. I did all the mixing, all the mastering, all the cover arts as independent as it can be on top of starting this reaction channel. So I really do appreciate everyone that showed love gave me constructive criticism, shared the music, so thank you. If you want to check out the music now, links right underneath the like button. It's under my music YouTube channel, so check it out. And with all that being said, you know I'll be back at it with another reaction tomorrow.